Well, alrighty, hello there, all of my friends, welcome back, and thank you for joining me as your host, as always, the Ramadis, and as you see, here we're back on my server here, uh, we're going to talk about all things oxygen, the last three, four updates, they have been aimed at uh, the oxygens, the generations, creating pressurized environments, some very, very cool things uh, going on like that, and so I would like uh, to go ahead and uh, take a little bit of time, and I'll focus on that. I'd like to talk about that with you for a little bit. Um, the uh, oxygen farm here, this is the most recent of the blocks. Um, before I really get into this, by the way, I have turned on the creative for me just uh, for this episode. I do not do that ever, 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 but just uh, because I don't really have planned what we're going to do, I want the ability to very rapidly uh, fix that if we need to build something. So we will uh, come back to that in a little bit. But yes, here we go. Um, so this is the oxygen farm. This is a solar block. Uh, much like the solar panel, you need to aim it at your star to get the maximum effect out of it. Uh, right now, this block only available on large ships and stations. It's not available on the small ship, which I think is a very, very neat and crafty little move. Um, these will very slowly, very, very slowly produce oxygen. And I, I cannot stress that enough. It's very slow. You see here that I have quite a few of these things set up. We have one, two, three, four rows. Uh, by 16 of them across so if you can do basic math with me that is 64 of these guys set up it's quite a few um, and then uh, here on the back you can see that the other side facing the green lights what that is telling us is exactly the same thing as um, exactly the same thing as the solar panels that just means they're working at the maximums here you see uh, that with these guys I have a series of conveyors lined up across them so that we can go ahead the oxygen is going to travel in the conveyor system just like everything else and so back here on the back of the uh, panels here I have a single conveyor that is now going to collect all of this thing going to lead us over here and then the teal as the oxygen for the station is going to lead us into here uh, so the teal starting at this point right here the teal is sorted i'm sorry at this point right here the teal is sorted only to be oxygen so everywhere in the station the teal piping only going to be concerned with this with the uh, with the oxygens maybe a little bit inefficient but to tell you what uh i'm not going to worry about it i kind of like having all of the things split like that i feel like a little bit more realistic as well it forces me really to plan when we deal with these things so in here in the oxygen i i, I very uh a, 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 a very um affectionately calling this the oxygen room we have some of the blocks that are set up so these four things right here are going to be the oxygen generators in the generators what we can do is a couple things we can go ahead and we can fill them with oxygen bottles if we want uh, these oxygen bottles these are meant to be carried around in your inventories if I was in survival and not in creative right now I would be draining the oxygen which in the bottom left hand window you see they have oxygen percent down there that oxygen will refill automatically from these bottles so if you know you are going to be out and about for an extended period of time maybe a good idea to go ahead and bring the oxygen bottles with you the generators will also go ahead and take ice into them. Ice is the uh, the, the, the ore that uh, will generate the oxygen. It will not run through a refinery as all the other ores will. It will only run through the oxygen generator. So four of these things was probably overkill. But here again, we're going for a little bit realism because I want to have it look like we have mass production of the oxygens here on the large, the large motherships. These guys right here, as they say on the front, this is oxygen storage. These are the oxygen tanks so in the oxygen tank if we go over here to control panel we have a little bit of everything we're very slowly filling these guys as you look uh it is going slowly very slowly creeping up here keep in mind that uh, we have many of the oxygen tanks so i'm going to go over here let's see if it is only filling uh here are the oxygen farms that we pointed out out there let's come down here to the oxygen tank so this is oxygen tank number four um, all of these things are filling at a reasonably slow rate over here. So this is with 64 of those oxygen guys. I think we have a total of 20 tanks in here. I believe that is probably right. So 
not very efficient if you see what I'm talking about. So what is different with the disk guy right here? Well, disk guy is actually set on stockpile, meaning it will not be drained by events. So if I want to have only one of these guys where I want to put all of my oxygen bottles, I set him to stockpile so that I can do that with the oxygen bottles right here. As you see in the menu as well, down here I can do auto refill if I want, or if I put bottles into the inventory, I can go ahead and click refill on the bottles. So that is pretty much overview of all of the different oxygen blocks that you have so just as a recap then the oxygen is going to come originally from the ice which you find on the asteroids up here it is kind of a teal colored block or a teal colored voxel when you have it on the asteroid um, the original way for generating your oxygen was to go mine a bunch of ice bring the ice into your oxygen generators and then they will go ahead and put it either into bottles or transmit it into the oxygen tanks Ice uh, will travel along with the oxygen through the conveyor system, as you see it here. This is the newest block in the set. We have the oxygen farms, which are going to go ahead and be a solar-powered uh, oxygen generation type thing. It is my understanding that these are filled uh, with a bunch of algae, and so we just don't quite see the algae in here right now, but that is what they are actually filled with. Perhaps, I'm guessing, I don't really know that. That's just speculation on my part. These blocks are not, the farm blocks are not available on the small ships. However, let's go over here uh, to my little confused guy because uh, he is kind of an ugly uh, little ship. But something that we do want to point out with this guy is um, this right here is going to be the oxygen generator on a small ship. So if I were to dock over here with the mother ship, or with probably more particularly with the potato masher. If I am to park him over here with the masher, if I am going to hook him up, then oxygen will automatically transmit here into the generator until it is filled up. I will go ahead and pop into here and show you what I am talking about. Here we go. You see uh, the maximum on this guy is going to be about 40,000 uh, liters. I guess with this it's actually going to be slightly different. So uh, you see the mass here of the, uh, of the oxygen of the ice is what is going to fill up in the generator. Now this will slowly decay. Um, we do have some oxygen tanks on this guy as well that have been filled. But that guy is going to slowly decay, especially when I sit into the cockpit. The cockpits now are available um, to have oxygen on the inside, so if I sit in here, if I go ahead and take off my helmet, which now you can do with the J key, uh, that gets a little uh, difficult by, uh, by the way, you accidentally hit the J key and you start dying. That is not such a good thing. I do that occasionally. But if you're in the cockpit now, you can go ahead, you can take off your helmet, although you don't actually need to. You can leave the helmet on, you're in the oxygen-filled environment. Everything is pretty good. So, pretty much that is the overview of everything. Uh, the uh, cockpits now, they, m they, they have reason to be hooked into the conveyor system. As remember that your oxygen is going to move through the conveyor system. So in order to fill your cockpit with the oxygens, you must, 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 must have it hooked up into the conveyor system. The last thing we need to talk about is the oxygen vent, and that is the uh, way that you are going to have pressurized environments. Oxygen vent is currently not available on the small ship, only available on the big ships. So, let us pop in here real quick. We're going uh, to have to go through my series of airlocks uh, and get in here. So, there are certain things that will work. You see that the air just went by me. That's because I depressurized the environment in here. Uh, so as we go in, these are what the oxygen tanks actually looking like. Here is what we have for the oxygen vent. This is the thing that is going to go ahead and pressurize our environment here on the interior. Now because the lights on him is green, that means we actually have a full oxygen environment. You can see bottom right hand corner. Now in addition to the gravity window there, we also uh, talked about the oxygen here. So you see that I have my large reactor here in the middle of this guy. Uh, and then you see that I have a conveyor tube right Right there, I could not seal this in. The conveyor tube is not a sealed block. So what we had to do beneath him is actually put more blocks to seal in that conveyor tube. Otherwise, this environment would not be pressurized. Same with the story up there. Uh, the doors, the normal doors like this will work to, for the pressurized environment. You see in here I have gone ahead and turned off um, just so I didn't waste the oxygen. We probably do the same thing in here. Um, but you see that these doors are now going to be more and more essential, not only to protect yourself on the interior of a ship, but also uh, because we have to maintain pressurization. So if you are in a dogfight, if you are in a battle out here, 
uh, and you get pieces of your ship blown off, then, uh, for example, let's say we get part of the cockpit blown off here, that door is now essential to maintain pressurization to the rest of the ship. So, that, I think, is a pretty good overview for all of your oxygen needs. Hopefully, I have explained everything well for you. I know that this news has been out and around for everybody for a little bit, but because I've been gone, I wanted to make sure that we went ahead and covered it for ourselves. So, uh, as always, I do appreciate you joining me. I am no longer overwhelmed with the busies, so I would expect more regular updates. And especially now that we have the server up and running, I would expect to see uh, more of the updates, especially if we start to get the people in here, because I want to see what everybody is going to do. And I also want to be a little bit social with everybody. So, as always, I appreciate you so much for joining me. As I said in the last video, I hope uh, that you will go ahead and join me here on my server. That is why it is built for you guys, so that we can all enjoy the Space Engineers. And I will see you next time.